today. I'm going to do a little collective haul of things I've bought in the last couple of weeks, probably about the last month or so. Um, I just want to say thank you to everyone that watched my first little video, uh, my February favourites that I posted a couple of days ago, it must be now, depending on when I upload this. Um, it's really nice for people to actually take the time to watch it and, you know, leave a little comment and it was, yeah, it was nice, so thank you. I'm going to start off with a few little things that I got, kind of like freebie sample things. Cosmopolitan Magazine are doing their little Clinique giveaway um, where they have, oh, I just got a text. Yeah, they're doing this thing where they, they do it sort of like every year and they team up with Clinique and they have little miniatures. Um, and this is this is really quite good because um, they were doing the um, moisture surge in a little sort of 30 ml sample. Now, I use this anyway um, every day, like before I put my makeup on as my moisturiser because my skin does get quite oily. Um, so I like to moisturise but not with something that's going to like cause more oiliness. Um, so I bought this, it's about £30 usually. Um, usually comes in a little, it's my pyjamas, <laughs> a little tab like this and you get 50 mils in this, now this is it, £30. Um, I paid £3.50 for the magazine and I got um, 30 mils, so if you think about it, I bought two, I now have two magazines, um, so I bought 60 mils for £7 when I could have bought 50 mils for £30 do the maths, that's quite a good offer. So if you use this or if you're looking for a really good moisturiser for oily skin, um, I really recommend grabbing a Cosmo magazine. It's got Holly Willoughby on the front. There you go. Yeah, I went to Benefit um, and one of the girls at work was telling me how they're bringing out a new foundation. Amaze. In Benefit a couple of years ago used to do a really lovely foundation. I can't remember what it was called, but I did use it. Most likely I use any foundations. Um, but they discontinued it, which was really annoying. Not sure why, um, but yeah, they're bringing out a new one. I thought this is really cute as well. I can't, I don't have one of those fancy cameras that zooms in when you hold it up, so I'm sorry um, if you can't see it very well. But this is a little um, sample they gave me. Now, this is a really good idea. It's a little box that comes in, and you get a little 5mm pump of it. It's like a proper little foundation pump and everything. Um, it's really good. It's called Hello Flawless. It's supposed to be oxygenated, so you kind of like really light and brightening and good for your skin. Um, I have tried this, they have three colours in the sample box, I'm sure they do more colours, um, but the one I was given, which is the lightest, as I am so pale, um, is really yellow, and you probably won't be able to see that, this bad lighting is quite dark outside, so I had to turn the light on. Um, but yeah, it's champagne this colour was called, it feels lovely and soft, and it looks quite nice on the skin, if it wasn't so yellow, so I'm hoping there'll be more shades for like the lighter population. Um, so get to benefit and ask for a sample and they'll probably give you one. Speaking of foundation, you've probably seen that I bought the um, Estee Lauder Invisible Fluid Makeup. I've used this, I had a little sample of it and I used it for about a week and it's just lovely. It's supposed to be um, a really full coverage foundation while still being quite lightweight on the skin. It's kind of like making its way around like the blogging um, scene at the moment. Everyone really loves it. Um, it's only been out for a couple of weeks as well. But it's just really lovely. It's not quite as good coverage as like your double wears or your things like that, um, but it is lovely, it gives a real nice glow to the skin, it is light, you can't even feel it when you're wearing it, um, but yeah, it just is really kind of um, a nice finish. And that was about £27, um, I think, maybe £28, um, you know, <laughs> I can't say no to any foundation. And then, to go along with that, which is my little justification to buy this, I got the um, Real Techniques Core Collection set, and it comes in this little boxy thing. All I really wanted was the buffing brush, which is this one here. Um, oh, it's so soft. I do have the stippler brush already, but it's not, it's a really lovely brush, but it's not brilliant for really getting like foundation in, like quite, it's alright for lighter ones, but something a little bit fuller to medium. It, it leaves sort of like little streak of it, so I really wanted this just to put on foundation. I ended up buying the whole set, which is about 21, 22 pounds, um, but I would have paid that for this anyway, probably, <laughs> knowing me. Um, but it just really is the perfect brush. Um, it's not as dense as like the Sigma Kabuki flat top brushes, um, but it's, it's very similar. Um, but it really just gets it in lovely flawless finish. You don't even have to like work it in much. It's really nice. I'm just waving it around. <laughs> yeah, really love that. I didn't want any of these brushes, but I do quite like a few of them. The little um, this is supposed to be a contour brush. I can't contour to save my life, um, so I don't. <laughs> but I use this for concealer as well. I wanted the Real Techniques. Um, I think it's like the deluxe crease brush it's called, which is purple, similar to this but smaller, for concealer. I was going to buy that, but it came in a set with other brushes that I just didn't want, um, so I didn't bother buying it. But I've used this, and it's it's bigger, but it's probably, you know, quite 
you know, similar. Um, so I just like buff my concealer in it under my eyes and just on little blemishes and things. But it's really good um, for that. So I'm glad I didn't buy the other brushes. I'll be using that um, from now on. The other two, and this is like a foundation brush, but it's smaller. So unless you have a tiny face, it's not brilliant. Um, and this little lip brush is so thin and dainty. I just feel like I'm going to snap it every time I use it. I think it's a lip brush. What is it? Or just like a little tiny brush for things. But I love the buffing brush. I'd buy ten of these if I could, if they were single, um, singly soles. I could use this for like cream blush and bronzer, especially bronzer, <laughs> bronzer, um, especially like your Soleil and um, the tan, which is kind of like the creamy Chanel bronzer. I'm really good for that. But um, I can't do that because I have to just keep cleaning it in between. I'm very lazy and don't do that. Apologies, I'm talking too fast in this video. I filmed it a couple of times and I keep running out of memory card space, so I'm trying to whiz through. And um, so, yes, sorry if you can't understand anything I'm saying. I posted about this in a tiny little haul I did on my blog, just a few pictures, um, a couple of weeks ago, which is the L'Oreal Lumi Magic Pure Light Primer. Um, this is, oh, this is lovely. It's so nice. I don't usually touch L'Oreal, go for L'Oreal at all because it just scares me for some reason and like I don't, nothing stands out to me as being amazing. Um, but I bought this, I don't know if you can see that, you probably can't, but the glow on this, oh my goodness, it is amazing. I'd say this is like high beam, benefit high beam, but white, um, oh, but it just gives the skin the most flawlessly like shiny glowy radiance. It's lovely. I love a bit of glow in the skin. I hate being matte. I have to have a bit of a sort of a highlighter and a primer that's going to glow as well. It's like Max Stro Cream times 10 and it's just amazing and it's so smoothing as well. Um, so yeah, I really like that. A last little makeup -y bit. Um, I got the Rimmel. I don't really, <laughs> I don't love Rimmel but I bought this just for the colour. Um, I don't know if you've seen, probably most people have, the MUA and Love Hearts collaboration collaboration, I can't speak today, I'm really sorry, <laughs> collaboration, um, yeah, anyway, in Love Hearts, they did sort of like nail varnishes and lip balms, I think that's all there was, quite recently, but Superdrug just is rubbish, and none of them around me stock it, um, so I really wanted the You Rock Nail Polish, I think it's called, which is sort of, it's similar to this, it's like a bluey, lilac-y sort of, a colour I hadn't seen before, um, so I went out and I, I was looking around in sort of like the other makeup stands and this is the only thing that stood out to me as being quite similar. It's sort of like an acre blue, it's called aqua cool, um, it's like a bluey, almost lilac-y, lavender -y kind of colour but I really liked that. I thought it would be like a perfect spring colour. I'm actually quite impressed with this nail varnish, it's got lycra in it and it doesn't chip at all. It fades gradually like tip wear, um, but it doesn't chip, which I thought was amazing because most nail polishes just tip on me no matter how much base coat and top coat I put on um, after a while. But yeah, it says up to 10 days wear. I can quite agree with that, but it's it was really good. I was impressed, but I love that colour. Really blue, really nice. Yes, yeah, so that's all my sort of like beauty bits and bobs. Um, a few little clothes and accessories, but I didn't buy a lot because I don't know. I'm not really into clothes at the moment. I just like buying makeup. <laughs> Not that that's much difference. Um, I've got two things that I posted about in a wish list on my blog. I'll link it below if you fancy having a look at that. I got these little um, sort of Aztec -y print shorts. I'm not sure if they're really Aztec -y print, but they're some kind of print. Something just a bit different to wearing light blue denim ones all the time. Um, yes, they're quite simply short as well, so mm, not so great. <laughs> um, and I got this little top from um, Nina Casal. It's like one of those little tie string bottom ones. Um, just a little vest top. I quite like the vest with the high neck sort of thing at the moment. Um, it's got like a cross on it, I don't know if you can see. Um, but it's like, it's reverse printed so it's inside. Um, so it just comes out, that's the actual thing, um, inside. And then outside it just comes out really kind of faded. But I really like that. I really love this sort of like jersey grey material at the moment that's around in a few places. Like that Topshop dress that I really want but I can't afford it. Oh. Um, it's like the t-shirt one most people have it sort of like a skater dress but it's like 30 pounds basically a t-shirt that's a bit longer oh top shop why do you do this to us and something a little bit more weather appropriate um <laughs> i got a dress from dorothy perkins of all places i don't usually go in there but i had a discount code so i thought let's get on that um and it's just like it's a midi dress i quite like midis at the moment especially for autumn i know it's not autumn anymore but i'm clinging on to like winter and Christmas. I did love it. Um, but it was over so fast, I don't know what happened. The older I get, like, the quicker things go. It's really sad. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's like a, it's a sleeve, rest dress, sleeveless dress, um, but it's like ple pleated at the bottom. It's really pretty. Um, but I thought it was quite like warm 
um, long dress for over like tights and some little boots or something. Um, so you probably see that popping up in an outfit posting if you want to see it full on instead of just little bits of it. Two necklaces from ASOS. I try not to go on there very often.